Hi everybody, this is uh, Calm Jackson again uh, with a short video here uh, regarding how to set up specular highlights. I got a lot of requests after uh, the Render Studio overview video to show you guys how to set this up. It's actually fairly easy um, once you get the hang of it. So let's start. Um, so I've loaded up uh, Genesis 3 female um, into the scene and uh, it's got the basic texture on. I thought we'll use the basic texture set because that's as basic as you can get really. So the first thing we need to do is we need to convert it to the irate uber base. So um, if you don't know how to do that, it's, it's, it's simple. You just select the Genesis 3 figure in the scene tab, and then you go to your surfaces tab and you select the Genesis 3 female. Then what you need to do is you need to go to your DAS 3D library uh, to shader presets to Daz Uber and we have it open already here and the very first one here is the iRay Uber base shader so we're going to just double click on there and there we go uh, she's converted to the iRay Uber base and looks better already so I've got no lights in the scene yet but before I put any lights in the scene what I think uh, a lot of people recommend for um, eye highlights is to um, change the shape of the cornea. So um, if we go to um, the shaping tab uh, on Genesis 3 female to um, eyes, and we look down here, we see there's a morph target called eye cornea bulge. Now, just to turn that right up to 100% because, you know, really, re realistically, all our corneas bulge like that anyway. So it's going to really help show the reflections. So we're, what we're going to do is we're going to use um, Render Studio, uh, the specular light that I set up for Render Studio. So what you need to do is go to your DAS 3D library to light presets to render studio render studio base lights specular lights okay and uh, double click on the specular light so what i've done here is i um i've loaded the original specular eye light into um, the scene but i feel that this light could be really improved upon. So what I am going to do is I'm going to show you how to make this light work better. And then on the uh, video page on YouTube on my channel, I'm going to include a link uh, that you can download this, uh, uh, this, this new updated light and you can copy it right into your DAS Studio library. And if you own Render Studio, it'll go right into the same directory as the uh, original specular light, but it won't overwrite it just in case um, you don't like it. So with the, the specular light selected uh, and um, in the lights tab, we go to the, to the, the light pull down here and the first thing we're going to do is where it says light geometry, we're going to change that from a point to a disc. Now, uh, we can change to a disc, a rectangle, a sphere, a cylinder. Uh, you can experiment with these and, and see what kind of effects you get. Uh, but for now, we'll just use a disc. Now, you see these two tabs here, one is for height and one is for width. We're going to change them from 10 to 100. On both of them just like that and then the luminous flux which is the intensity of the light set to 500 we're going to change that to 3000 now what I've already done is I set up an auxiliary viewport 
for you guys to see this in uh, NVIDIA rendering mode, real-time rendering. So here you can actually see the, the specular highlights in the eyes. So um, with the light loaded, I want you, what we're going to do now is we're going to actually parent it to the head. For some reason, um, I can't find a way to make the, sorry, point at the head. Uh, we're going to make the light point at the head. I can't find a way to make Daz Studio retain the information that the... Um, the light has been parented to part of the body when I save the file. So this is something you're going to have to do manually each time you use it. It's a bit of a pain, but once you get used to it, 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 it doesn't take too long. So with your specular light selected in the scene and in the lights tab, you need to go to the, uh, the light the, um, sub tab here and click, uh, cl sorry sorry the general sub tab uh then to misc miscellaneous and then we're going to go to the genesis 3 female after clicking on point at here and we're going to scroll through the hierarchy going up the body from hip pelvis to abdomen lower abdomen upper chest lower chest upper neck lower neck upper and head and that's where we're going to point the light at um, I wish someone would come up with a better solution for, for doing this because it's a, it would be a great time saver so now the the the, the specular light is actually parented sorry pointing at the head so when I move that that light it's going to continue to point at the head wherever I put it so if we go to the parameters tab at the specular eye light and we select X translate now if you look in the auxiliary viewport I'm going to move the X move the light on the X and you can actually see the highlight moving in the auxiliary viewport moving across the face and the eyes as I'm swinging it left and right. So that's going to give you an instant idea where to stop moving. So let's try there. Now, the light is its now starting to build up. It'll render a little bit better in a second. Um, so that's basically how you do it. Um, if you um, want the the highlights to be higher just use the Y rotate uh, sorry the Y translate and bring the highlight up or bring it down like so now I have no other lights in this scene so this is why it looks kind of dark that was a little bit low that there we go so there you have it that's how you create the the highlights in the eyes pretty easy now also a lot of people have been asking me how this auxiliary viewport system works um, it works really well on my system I have a Titan X Nvidia graphics card which has over 3000 CUDA cores and um, uh, 12 um, gigabytes of RAM so you can even do this with, with a CPU just, just just running the rendering on the CPU it'll be quite a bit slower and won't update it won't update as fast uh, but it's still possible to do so what I'll do is I'll, I'll close out of this auxiliary viewport here and I'll create a new one so what you need to do is you need to go to your window menu and your panes tab and then to auxiliary viewport and there you have it but the next thing you have to do is you select your camera which we already had selected there and your Nvidia iRay here at the bottom rendering that's the rendering mode it's kind of like a really glorified OpenGL. 
uh, something though that you, you 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 will need to do as well is if you go to your draw settings here uh, and you make sure that Nvidia iRay is selected in the draw style up here and click on blending just make sure interactive uh, and not photo reel is selected interactive will be much faster than photo reel if I click it's photo reel there it's it's fast on my machine but um, might not be fast on everyone's so that's two little tutorials in one so uh, I really hope that helps you guys and you know if there's anything specific you want to see just leave me a note uh, in one of the posts on um, on Facebook or send me a private message can't promise that I can do them all but if I'm capable of showing you something that's going to help I'll do my my best to do it uh, don't forget to uh, check out my products at um, daz3d.com slash com dash jackson um, and uh, see if there's anything you fancy there in the store and so that's about it for now uh see you next time and cheers bye